So we're jumping into the boy here right now, aren't we? So do we want to talk yeah. about... There's 18 new factions, right? Uh, yeah. For the new update. Um, how did you... like? For me personally, what I find really interesting is that how did you select which factions to include and update um, and which ones to kind of leave out for later? Oh, man. That's a... <laughs> If only you would have been a fly on the wall. In some <laughs> um, we are um, a team of very passionate uh, people when it comes to history. And so we all have our views and our opinions yeah. and our <laughs> favorites and our uh, least favorites. And um, it becomes a very, uh, is this the new one? Um, I don't think so. I think that's no, uh, I don't think so. old style, yeah. Um, new, definitely I'll new uh, huts and uh, sort of building designs, though. Yeah, I'll I'll keep messing around as we talk. Um, <laughs> but uh, so yeah. Um, I think we actually had twenty planned, mm. and uh, two of them just we just didn't have really anything on them, and they they are needed eventually they'll be in eventually but they just weren't we we just didn't have what it took to make them now and so we had to disqualify them but uh, mm. the other 18 uh it was pretty much like hey like we just put a bunch of greek factions in and the rest of the world is kind of empty and it's like we need to kind of look region by region so we looked at iberia and we said okay out of iberia what are like the maybe the two most important factions that we could add and um that's where, as I'm here on the map now, yeah. That's where the Lusitani in Portugal, yeah, and um, that's they're right here, and then you have the Editani over in Valencia. Mm. Um, that's where they came in, and w it's cool because, you know, we had, we had this the Celt we had a, it, they were called the Celtiberians mm. before, and we changed them to the actual tribal name of the Aravachi. Um, so you have a Celtiberian faction and then you have the Lusitanian faction. They're very Celtic in yeah. culture. Um, but then you have the Editani over here and they're very Iberian in culture, which is closer to a more civilized Carthaginian Punic. Um, not quite, but more so in that line. So they're a cool. little bit different from each other. Um, and so we kind of went area by area. Um, the Numidians, um, you know, people don't know that the Numidia was actually two different tribes. And so we wanted to uh, show that. And then Gaul or the, the Celtic like culture in general needed some love. And so we've added, let's see, the Gauls were changed to the Arverni and they got a complete overlook, like overhaul as far as yeah. they look. Um, and then we added their rivals, the Adui and the Allobrogues. Um, and then we included the, the, the very powerful Belge up here in the north. And... Um, so now as a Massalia player, because people love Massalia for yeah. whatever reason, um, uh, much to the chagrin of our historians who <laughs> care less for it, um, yeah. they uh, they have some interesting factions to play against. And then, you know, over here, um, you know, Vanilla always had the Gauls in yeah. northern Italy, and it's kind of boring and kind of weird. And so we wanted to properly represent that by having the boy eye and the Insubres, um, who were allies and friendly with each other and worked together to fight the Romans. Cool. And so the Roman player will now have a more of a interesting challenge in the north. And what's cool about the boy, the boy eye boys, if people want to call them the boy boys, whoever, they, they get all kinds of nicknames. But they have a second start over here in Bohemia. Yeah. So it's a little bit of an interesting uh, twist. Um, you continue with the Celts, the Volke over here, which most people assume is Germania, mm. but um, back in this time it was very uh, Celtic. Cool. And so we wanted to represent that by having the Volke over here with three settlements. And then you do get into Germania proper, and we added a few here as well. We have the Chatty um, to go along with our previous Swaby faction, and you have a big faction over here in the Lugii. The Lugii were a confederation, according mm. to Tacitus, and so we've represented that. And then finally, we have the very mysterious and very yeah. debatable Kimbri. Mm. Um, 
you want to talk to historians about this and you will get into <laughs> some pretty crazy debates um, and uh, who they were, what they did, where they're from, uh, what are they made out of, what do the sources say? Oh my gosh, this is a very hot topic amongst yep. uh, the historians. And so we couldn't stop there. We had to go south. Um, <laughs> the Celts were everywhere at this yep. time. So little known fact, uh, Celts pretty much dominated the world as culturally speaking um in at this time it was kind of like just beyond the peak of their existence um the romans and the romans kind of started taking over at this time but at the game start they were everywhere and so you have the score disky here in modern day serbia yeah and then you have tylus in bulgaria um tylus has a very interesting short but very impactful history um so a good thing to maybe look up and read about and then um, we have a brand new culture in the Illyrian culture with an Illyrian faction in the RDAI. Mm. So this this uh, one, we ported a lot of these assets from Rome Total Realism 7. Um, cool. So they look pretty good. You nice. cross over here. You have Bithynia, um, which is a very, uh, they have a very strong Thracian culture but also Hellenistic and Greek. So it's kind of like a hybrid. Um, they start off at war with the Seleucids, by the way. So anybody oh. that wants to play Bithynia, that's going to be a challenge. <laughs> um, you've And we finished up, we added two Eastern factions in Cappadocia, which they start uh, with a good sized kingdom, but it's kind of like one of those things like, where do you go? I mean, you got Pontus up here, you have the Seleucids here, you have yeah. Armenia here. It's going to be a, a tough game. Oh, and don't forget, you have the Galatians uh, to fight against as well. So that's mm. going to be an interesting play. And then last but not least, we have um, a very mysterious and little little known faction in uh, Media Atropatine. Um, they were, uh, they kind of branched off during Alexander's time and the successor wars, and they held their own for years. Um, but there's not a lot known about them. There's not a lot of stuff written about them. But we do know that they harassed the Seleucids. The Seleucids had built forts along the border to keep them at bay. <laughs> so they were an issue. And for Persian and Median history fans, um, we wanted to include something there uh, for those folks. So, yeah, I mean, that kind of is just like a basic quick overview. But um, it yeah, took awesome. a, a lot of debate and discussion, yeah. <laughs> which is crazy. Yeah, cool. Can you uh, can you reveal which two were left out and maybe coming next, or is that? Uh... I will just say that they are a culture that has yet to be represented in this mod, and uh, it will be coming. We don't know when it's going to come though. Okay. Um, as far as new factions are concerned, um, we kind of feel like we're at a good spot. I believe we have fifty playable factions at the yeah. moment, or just about. And, and um, with the new map. Um, and with most of the areas covered, I get it, Arabia, Ethiopia, India, kind of barren still, I understand. Um, but the majority of where people play is covered with mm. something. And we kind of want to shift our attention to, okay, let's make these factions like good now. Let's make it, yeah. let's flesh them out. Let's make them feel like unique from each other. And um, basically... Uh, the more time we spend working on factions, the less time we get to spend on making the game fun and hard and interesting. And so you kind of have to, kind of like a balancing act when it comes to yeah. that. So new factions are definitely going to come. Um, I won't say what those two are going to be because I, it'll just generate a lot of hype. Um, <laughs> but they will come in one day and uh, the hype will be appropriate for the time. But uh, for now after these we uh we kind of want to make it uh to where no matter where you play it's a clean fun and challenging experience yeah and then once we get to that point i think we'll uh get to another round of factions and at this point the main boys are covered so it's going to be some interesting factions that probably most people haven't even heard of before so it'll be a lot of fun awesome cool that's brilliant, yeah. That was a great rundown of all the factions. The new factions, guys, as well. If you've not seen all the new factions, that was a great rundown of all the new factions. And uh, I'm not going to speculate too much, but 
cultures that we've not seen really <laughs> you say the, the two factions that we missed out were cultures that are not seen on the map currently so that just makes me think uh, Arabia or Ethiopia or India really but of course they're not it's not to be revealed so um, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, and that's what's fun, right? Yeah. Let you all speculate. And, uh, <laughs> when, when that time happens, it'll happen. But you yep. know, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of cultures on our map that it's have true. yet to be represented. It's true. So um, it could be, uh, it could be anything. It could be somewhere you would never even think of. So that's what's really fun about it. Yeah, exactly. That is. Uh... <laughs> That's interesting. That's that's interesting. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. All that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. Check out the Discord for the mods down below and the Steam page. Ready to click that subscribe button on Friday. Or you can subscribe already and uh, get playing it just to get your practice in before the new big mod comes out. And uh, I will see you all, guys, on the next video.